Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use automatic correspondence detection, which is a new feature in the audio interface. In our character transfer workflow, one of the necessary tasks is the correspondence tagging, as in this picture. The process is often time-consuming and some users find this process difficult because uh, they are not sure where to place the markers to get the best transfer result. So we provide this automatic correspondence detection feature which makes the process a lot easier and faster. Uh, here we provide uh, two detection approaches. First, uh, one is auto-detect which works very well for most of the face meshes that have similar proportion to the real human face. Second approach is uh, interactive detect and this approach helps the correspondence detection on cartoon faces that have a very different face sizes or uh, face proportion to real human face. In auto detection mode, all you have to do uh, after character setup is just the clicking auto detect button. Then you will get this decent 27 correspondences automatically. Alternatively, uh, when the initial lineup from the character setup is uh, not great, you can tag uh, one correspondences and click auto detect button and you will get the full correspondences. In the interactive detect mode, the process is slightly different. Uh, after the character setup, if you click the interactive detect button, you will get five uh, guide correspondences like this. And uh, you need to adjust these five markers to the correct position. And after that, you can click the interactive detect button again and you will get full correspondences. So now let's just switch to the audio to face app and try this new feature. So this is the audio to face app and this is the Ellison model uh, from our uh, Nucleus server and you can find this model from this location. So uh, go to the character transfer tab and you can assign this skin mesh to here and check the orientation and set up character. In this demo, I'm just going to use the skin mesh because uh, the purpose of demo is uh, automatic uh, correspondence detection. So here, uh, after the character setup, all you have to do is just uh, click this auto detect button. Then you will get this uh, nice correspondence on the uh, Ellison face automatically. And if you review these correspondences, they are uh, pretty good, but maybe you need some uh, edit or tweak process to make it really accurate like this but as you can see here this is a, a really great starting point uh, almost uh, uh, ready so your correspondence tagging process is a uh, much much faster and easier so like I uh, mentioned before when the lineup is not great from the character setup, you can alternatively add just one guide point and try the auto detect. And this will give you uh, this kind of uh, uh, full correspondences quickly. So this is uh, one example and I'm going to show you a couple of more examples. Uh, in this case, I'm going to scroll down to the real Lujan directory and there's a Debra directory. So this Debra face is a, a game character from real Lujan and let me turn on camera light. And her face is uh, uh, close to real human face. So let me set up the character again. In this case, you need to correct the orientation and set up character. Then you will get this uh, uh, template and Debra. And since it's a uh, real human face proportion, we can just click auto detect. And as you can see here, this is a really nice uh, correspondence markers on Debra. So yeah, after this, you can maybe review and edit some uh, marker and then keep going this uh, mesh fitting and post wrap process. And finally, I'm going to show you a cartoon face case, which is a Viking in real Lujan directory. So I'm going to drag in this face model. 
And as you can see here, this face is a uh, uh, very unique, uh, cartoony, uh, like a really big uh, part on here. And face is a, a cartoon, cartoony face. So let's just start the character setup, orientation, and setup character. And as you can see here, size of the face is different, proportion is different, and if we try just to auto-detect, you will get uh, this result, and this is not great, it's not uh, detecting the face landmarks correctly. And Ctrl G is undo, so maybe we can try one marker, guide marker approach, and click auto-detect. And this is uh, still not giving the great result because uh, this uh, size of the face is uh, too different. Okay, Control G again. So this is uh, uh, when we uh, need to use uh, interactive detect. So if you click this inter interactive detect, you will get these five correspondences on template and uh, character. So uh, we need to make these five markers correct. So, one, two, so I'm going to move them to roughly a uh, nice position. And from here, you can click Interactive Detect again. And as you can see here, uh, it's giving you much, much better correspondences than before. And it's uh, up to you from here, so either you can go to edit mode and edit the correspondence uh, to accurate position, or if you want to uh, have more automatic result, you can go back using Ctrl Z and maybe tag a few more markers, like uh, center of the brow or lower eyelid, so let me take just a few more, or chin, yeah. So you can run interactive detect when you have uh, more than five markers. So let me click interactive detect again, and like uh, you see here, now you're getting slightly better uh, marker around the eyes and the overall face shape. So this is the uh, workflow and uh, I showed you how to use the uh, auto detect and interactive uh, detect button. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Bye bye.